you hear, Divine Water Dragon? Isn't that obvious, big guy? My girl Raya and I are gonna fix the world. Let's catch you up. It is so exciting to be the first Southeast Asian Disney princess. It is a big deal. Raya is one of the fiercest characters. In Ryan the Last Dragon, we were inspired by things about Southeast Asia to create a wholly original story and fantasy world called Kumandra. This land used to be inhabited by mystical dragons, which brought magic and harmony. But over time, the land split apart. Our lands have been at war for as long as we can remember. And now she's on this mission to bring this world back together with this ragtag group of misfits. I wish to join this fellowship of particularly. The animation on this movie is on a totally different level, and it's amazing when you think that this movie was animated from home. It's incredible. You know, we have a crew of 400 plus people. We were animating, lighting, having story meetings. All of that was done from everyone's home with dogs and cats and babies. Yeah? It could only have happened because everybody is passionate about the films we make and they brought that. I mean, the movie is, I think, one of our most beautiful films. You and the dragon are coming with me. Hmm. My sword here says we're not. I have the honor of being one of the martial arts consultants on the film. I got to incorporate the knowledge I had from Southeast Asian martial arts into those fight sequences. You see weapons get pulled out from Raya that are Screamer that come from the Philippines. When you see Raya fall into a fight stance, you can go, that's our niece. That's Muay Thai. That's Krabi Krabong. The level of action in this movie is pretty tight. It's pretty tight. The world's broken. You can't trust anyone. I think the themes of this movie are so relevant. Maybe it's broken because you don't trust anyone. Learning how to find the goodness in the world, I think, is such a beautiful, important message. I really just can't wait for people to see it.